Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to update you on my Japanese rice fish and put some into my pond. In the last rice fish video, you saw how they arrived as eggs and I showed you how I raised them to a juvenile size. Since then, I moved them into my 20 gallon community tank. In the beginning, I had them in a breeder box because I was worried the gourami would eat them as they were still very small. After a few weeks of feeding them multiple times a day and also having the increased tank size, they grew quite a lot, which meant I was able to put them into the actual tank as well as take a few groups and move them into different tanks in my house. One of which was the fishbowl, which I'm sure you saw me set up a few videos ago. After a few months, I took all the fish out of the fishbowl because it was time to move them into the pond. I decided to use the ones from the fishbowl as it doesn't have a heater, so they would be the most accustomed to the cold. I knew they were ready to go into the pond because over summer all the plants in the pond have grown a lot and there's also lots of food available in the pond for them, like this mosquito larvae, which they love to eat. After letting them acclimate for over an hour, regularly adding pond water into the bag, I released them. They straight away began exploring and hunting for food, which is a really good sign that they're comfortable in their new home. Meanwhile inside, the group that I still have in my 20 gallon have started breeding. You can see them carrying their eggs underneath their tail. They then deposit these eggs on a plant, usually moss or the roots of a floating plant. I have some other really interesting colours in my inside group, like these orange ones here. And once I get a breeding colony going, I'll be able to move them all outside into the pond. I've moved a small group of about 5 breeding rice fish to this smaller tank that's full of moss so that I can try and get some new fry coming through. The pond is full of water lettuce like this and the massive root systems are perfect for them to lay their eggs on so hopefully I get some breeding action in the pond as well. Although Japanese rice fish are known as a tropical fish that will breed in temperatures above 20 degrees celsius they can do really well in colder climates. I'm keeping them outdoors in Ireland and they should be able to survive the winter even under a layer of ice. They're an extremely easy to look after fish, nice and small so that they won't tear up your pond like a goldfish might. And also really bright and colorful and interesting to watch, especially under the natural sunlight outdoors. In Japan, they're traditionally kept in small bowls that have no filter or water movement. The water is just kept clean by plants and they stay outside all year, even during the winter when the surface of the water freezes. I would definitely recommend these to anyone who has a small pond in the garden. As long as it has a lot of plants in it, these fish will do really well. <laughs> 